Good morning, friends. Welcome back to the channel. So today's video is quite the mix mash of hauls or little tiny things I've ordered or stopped in store to grab. Um, I was going to include a declutter of some of my makeup and some empties, but I think I'll just make that a separate video because this would be way too long. So I am going to throw in a few makeup purchases I've made just because I like sharing that stuff with you guys. And sometimes you'll see it come back in like a favorites or something to that nature. So I figured I would just share with you what I got so you can kind of see what I've been um, working on. And so the first thing here is a tiny little order. I think it was like $12 from BoxyCharm. I do um, subscribe to BoxyCharm and then I do like to shop the add-ons or pop-up store from time to time just for things that sound interesting and they're always super good deals. So the first couple things I got were a couple lip liners. I've always wanted to try um, Gerard Cosmetics. I've heard such good things about their lip liners and in specifically this one in Luna and it's just like a really pretty nude color. So I'm going to give you a little swatch of it here. I don't want to get too swatch happy because we'd be here forever and it just matches even like the lipstick I'm wearing today I think it would look really good with it so happy I picked that up and like I said these things were like two dollars or three dollars and I picked up another one and I've never heard of this brand but I just thought the color was pretty okay the bag's being there it is and this is in the shade or this is from the brand Dirty Little Secret in the shade Rosy Posy and it's all wrapped up so I'm just going to show you it looks very similar to this shade so it's probably going to be spot on the same and then I've been trying to work on my nails. So I had got some cuticle oils and exfoliators. So this is from Butter London and it's their Melt Away Cuticle Exfoliator. And it was really um, decent and the reviews were really good. And then I also got the Lifestyle Company Cuticle Oil and it's like a roller ball. And I just thought this would be so easy to use right before doing my nails. So picked that up also. And like I said, all of that was like 12 bucks. Not that you care what I spent, but I was, you know, not going crazy. And then ColourPop, so I'm trying to do this fast because I know like makeup isn't like everybody's thing. ColourPop um, had like a clearance sale. So I picked up a couple things that were on my, like I wanted, but I didn't need to get. So then like it went on sale. And so I was like, oh, well, that's a good reason to pick it up. So the first thing, I grabbed a few products from this collection that came out this summer called the Lush Life, and it's a really pretty palette, but it's kind of, it's kind of summery, but it's got a little hint of fall to me. So I thought, it's okay. I'll just do it now. Um, you know, it was like 30% off, plus I used a coat or something. These colors are a little bright, but if you look over here and up here, it's really pretty. And I just thought some of these like other pots of color, the green and the blue weren't too crazy. So I thought it'd be fun to do some looks with that. So there is that palette. And again, I'm not going to show you any swatches or anything, but um, I'll probably show it at some point. Um, and then I grabbed an eyeliner because I thought I don't have a color like this and it was really pretty. And it's this um, kind of a melon color. I'll, just, I'll do a little swatch of this. Some of the inside of the box got in there. Um, and again, and that's something I'll wear a lot, but it thought it really matched the, look at that orange. It's pretty. And it would be really pretty on the top to go with one of those like nude or, you know, neutral looking eye looks. And then a pop of that color is just so pretty to me. And like I said, this was like three bucks. And then I wanted to try one of these. It's a cheek do. Um, and they're a liquid blush. It's like a serum blush and it just kind of makes your make makeup look really natural. Um, I don't do like a full face of anything. Let's see if I can get it out. There we go. And it's this color in Starfruit. And I just thought that would be such an easy try. You know, I've never tried these before. So I was like, well, get a color that's not going to be too scary. Um, so let's show you. Oh, I think I did way too much there. That's okay. So it comes out of like a little tip like this. And then I have some stippling brushes. So you would just like, I'm just going to make a huge mess. Let me do that real quick. Um, and then, so you're going to just keep working this into the skin till it's basically just part of your, almost like you're using a moist moisturizer, but it gives you color. Look at how much I use. I don't need a huge drop just so you know, but let's see if I can do it better. But yeah, it does. It doesn't feel like anything and then it dries down. So you can't feel that stickiness. Let me grab something before I get this all over everything. <laughs> so the last thing I got, I thought this was really cute. This was a recent collection. I'm not super into the astrology, but I do, 
I'm a Scorpio, born in November. Um, November 9th is my birthday. And I do like a lot of the things that are said about it, but it's not something I follow or anything. But this is The Secret Life of a Scorpio, and it was like a couple dollars. And these colors were just so cute. I was like, all right, because these are tiny. I didn't think it would be this tiny, but it's eyeshadow. And this is the packaging. Super cute. And then it's got the little um, emblem there. And like I said, I don't follow it like per se, but aren't those pretty? And like, what an easy eye look. So I just thought that'd be good for work. And like I said, they had a clearance sale. So I wouldn't have probably bought any of this without that. So that's everything in that box. Let's do something Beth and Body Works related for a second. Um, so I did have to go back to store one of my wallflower wreath plugins. Um, Quit working. I like had a um a refill in it for over a month and like only like this much of the juice went down I was, and I couldn't really smell it. So they let me exchange it. They didn't have the one I had, but it was a $16.50 price point, which I probably used a reward for if I'm being honest. But um they let me pick one for 16 up to $16.50, and this one as you can see was $14.50. And it's a little owl, and I was like, oh, that's cute. So we're gonna light that up and see if it like has color shine through or if it's just that. But I just thought he was so cute. So I got that for free because it was an exchange. And then I did participate because I don't normally, I think this will shock some of you. Um, I don't normally get anything in the aromatherapy, but these scents really were interesting to me. So I grabbed the aromatherapy Awakening Sun. It has notes of bergamot, neroli, and cedarwood. I thought the bottle was really pretty. So these I just kind of wanted to be like bedside lotions. You know, I don't, I'm not going to pair them or figure out what goes with it. I just thought, you know, sometimes I go to bed and I like lay down and I'm like, oh, my hands are dry. I just want something sitting there. And I really do like this. This has a very, um, like the bergamot's really strong. Uh, that's the note I smell the most. Um, I'm not quite sure what neroli is, but I've had it in other things. And then cedar wood. And so it's just kind of like awakening in a way where it's not calming, but it's very like subdued and it's not anything strong. So I just think either one, the awakening sun or the restful moon would be good for right next to the bed when you need something. But this bottle is just stunning. So I grabbed that. I think there were $6.50, but I had a 20% coupon. So I got some single weights too, which I'll share with you. And so then I also got the other one and I was really appreciative that they wrapped them just because everything's kind of like plastic bag right now. So it's really hard. Everything's clanking around in the, in the bag together. So this bottle is super pretty too. And I do believe a hundred percent because I don't gravitate towards aromatherapy products that it was the bottles that got me, but this is patchouli, patchouli, sandalwood and vanilla. I tried to say all of those at the same time and that's what just happened. So those sound really calming to me. And I do love the patchouli because I've told you guys, it kind of gives me a memory of my mom. She loved patchouli. Yeah, I like this. And it's got like a, not like a peppery note, but something in it's kind of like a little, like, like a little peppery, but I really, I put some on my hands. I walked around the store and I could feel that calm. And I was like, this will be great for bedtime. So I just picked up those two. I didn't get everything. I don't have a bath, so I'm not getting bubble bath and whatnot, but, um, let's do the rest of the bath and body works. I got a few single wicks too. Can't help myself sometimes. Oh, and I did pick up this lotion. They didn't have the restful moon. So I, you know, just went with this, but it's awakening sun again with the bergamot, neroli, and cedar wood. And so I thought, you know, this is an on the go. So I could take this one to the office and it's just the moisturizing body cream. And then I picked up a few single wigs, just a few. Um, they were having an $8 sale, but I had 20% off coupon. And so that made them like $6.40, which is a pretty good price for the single wig. So I grabbed two of the hot cocoa and cream. This is just so cozy. I wish they would put the notes back on the bottom, just so, you know, you can, you know what you're smelling. Mmm, it smells like milk chocolate. It's so good. And then I grabbed one old-fashioned cider donut. I figured I had a three-wick, but I thought this would be nice to either combine or burn separately and mix with something else. Mmm, and you really can smell like the apple in there and then like a kind of like a spice note. So I like that one too. I think that's going to be great. This is the other hot cocoa and cream. And then I grabbed a Perfect Autumn. Um, I think this one smells really unique to me. It's got an apple cinnamon note, um, but it's like how much sweet. I really, really like it. So I grabbed one of those. Sorry, I had a call and then I thought I hit in call, but I think I hit in video. So I was talking about the perfect autumn. What I like about it is it's apple cinnamon, but it also has like a sweet fruit note. It surprised me. And I just think it'll be a really perfect addition to a bathroom candle for the fall. You know, the bathroom stuff. 
And then, I don't know why, I just grabbed a blueberry maple pancakes. This isn't my favorite. It's one. It's not one that I don't like. I just thought, in case I need a kitchen, a kitchen single wick, now I have one. And then I grabbed a Harvest Gathering. I never got this one. And I thought this packaging was really pretty with those gold foil leaves. So that was all I picked up, um, I believe, from... Oh, no, I did get a pocket bag because I had a free pocket bag coupon. So I went ahead and grabbed another Wicked Apple. It was this one or Blueberry Crumble, but I knew they were going to have a pocket bag sale. So I thought, just in case I don't get in, these will be gone. So I grabbed this one because I really, really like it. And that's everything I picked up from Bath & Body. I'm just trying to go fast. I'm sorry if I'm talking too fast. I know that's annoying. I have some hygiene stuff I've picked up from Walmart and Target, but we're going to do one more fun one and then we will um, end with that stuff. So Lights Lacquer is, it's been on my wish list for a while. This is a nail polish brand by Kathleen Lights. She had another one before there was some drama and I still have all those polishes. I use them quite frequently, but I wanted to try her new brand, but I didn't, I couldn't justify buying a bunch of polishes for no reason but she had like a labor day like buy one get one half off sale so i did um so i grabbed a bunch of little sets so i'm just going to show you the sets i won't go through anything else but this is the truly madly deeply set and it's a nice rose mauve um the shades are how to quit you follies and nonsense and which we call a rose and that's actually the one i'm wearing today my nails aren't great but i thought this was really pretty so i grabbed that set because that's a new like a natural neutral color scheme so i thought no big deal that'll be fun and then sorry i'm really going fast here but i don't want this video to be like 100 years long it also came with um I'm making a huge mess. This cute bag, she always says desk expensive, and I do too. I think I stole it from her, like not on purpose, but, um, and inside I got some more nail polishes. So this was also like a gift with purchase. I thought that was pretty cool. So I got, um, let's see here. This is Desert Rose. So I know you probably can't see. I should probably take them out just to be like not annoying. Let's see. These are gonna open super easy. Okay, <laughs> I was worried about that. Um, that's pretty. It's just like a nice pale pink. And then I got, um, cold turkey. This one I wanted last year. I thought it was really pretty, um, for a fall color. So there's this like muted turquoise blue. And then here is Jolene, which this came in a set. Um, I can't remember what the set was called, but it's really pretty. It's like a muted lilac or something. I don't describe colors that well, but very neutral. And I wear a lot of neutral colors. And this one is Now and Later. I love all the names of her polishes. And these really end up being super cheap. I got a ton for half the price I would have. And that's like a fun green. I would probably wear that on my toes or something. And then I got Mirage. I think this one goes with Jolene. Yeah. So they do go in like, she puts them together in sets. Like she'll do a seasonal set. I think there's six polishes in those. And then she'll do like little trios. Um, to celebrate little things. And this last one is Venus. And I think it's the third polish that goes with that Jolene and Mirage. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. So then I got this cute bag, which I really did want that. And it was a free gift. And then I got the Supernova set. Like I said, they were buy one, get one half off. I think for the three, it was like 20. So I ended up getting like six for 30, which is pretty good in my opinion. So in this set, you get um, Pro Protozoa, which is like a purple sparkle. I should go back and show you the truly madly deeply. This is Xenon, which is like a lighter purple sparkle. Lots of sparkle happening here. And um, Nebula. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, so pretty. So I'm just going to have so much fun painting my nails. And that's why I got the cuticle stuff because I don't really get my nails done. Um, I do my own hair. I color my own hair. This is the truly madly deeply set. I thought I'd just show you real quick. So this is um, How to Quit You, which I think is from the notebook. It's so cute. And then this is um, Follies and Nonsense. Look at that sparkle. And I actually have it on my nails today. You can kind of see. Sorry, it's poor quality of the video. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to do um, any of that kind of editing. So, And this is, um, I can't read the writing, but I read it on here. I think which, oh, that says which, okay. Which we call a rose. And it's this really pretty rose color. And I don't have any of these, so that's also um, a reason I picked so many up. Look at that hair. This is her birthday edition. I think her birthday's in the summer. It's birthday brat. So it's kind of like the brat dolls, but these are a bunch of pink. So I just thought this would be fun too. So I have candy clouds. Isn't that pretty? 
um, strawberry frosting. I know I did so much here, but I have like this whole little nail polish box. I've always loved doing my own nails and then sugar baby. So I just have a lot of options now. And the last set I got, cause like I said, I had to get two of each time. So always buy you. It's this really fun play on greens. And again, I like to just have options. So this one is chasing fireflies. It's like a really pale, like chart is chartreuse green. Is that like a color? I don't know. Did I just make that up? Frog prints. I think that's really pretty. It's like a sparkly green. And then this one is Fiona. Isn't that cute? I just love the names of these. So I had to get all of those um, because I really wanted to try that brand for like over a year. And she sends this cute little card, but it's light slacker, just so you guys can see. Um, and it's just a really good, the, the brush is perfect. It's shaped kind of like the um, end of your nail so you don't get it all over. I don't make a mess and I'm not good with like nail painting or anything. And then there was one more collection that ColourPop came out with that went onto the clearance. So I went ahead and grabbed some stuff and it's with this little girl here. Look at this Tinkerbell and I've already used this, but um, this is Sprinkle a Little Magic, the Tinkerbell ColourPop palette. So look at these colors. They're so pretty. It's like greens, but it's a lot of this color that you see me wear all the time. In fact, I'm wearing um, an eye look today um, and it's just really pretty. Like I said, you can make it neutral even though it's quite green, but, um, it's still very, very fun. Okay. And then the collection came with two eyeliners. So I have fly with me and lost girl. Let me show you these because I think one's like a green, but one's like a neutral. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah. So I'm just going to show you the ends here. So like a brown and a green, which who can't use brown and green, um, eyeliner. I do. And then two lip glosses, I think. Glossy lip stains. Okay, so this is Clap If You Believe. I just loved Tinkerbell. Um, so isn't that pretty? Like, it's just a gloss. So there's that. And then this is um, Tinkerbell. Well, there you go. That's easy enough. And it's this really pretty rose color. What else did I get? Man, I, I really treated myself this time. And so this is a sh uh, super shock shadow and it's like a highlighter and it's in happy thoughts. And I don't use highlighter a lot, but I thought I could use this as like an eyeshadow too. Cause I do wear a lot of sparkle on my eyes. So, and it's got this like super cute little Tinkerbell packaging. I know you guys, I'm like a kid, but isn't that pretty? So it's just going to be, I mean, I, I might wear it as a highlighter, who knows? And then it comes with these Super Shock shadows. So these are like a cream to powder shadow and they come in these colors. Let me share with you real quick. All right. So you get a lime green in um, straight on till morning. I don't know how I'm going to wear that, but even for like, you know, Halloween makeup would be fun. Um, this one is Never Grow Up. Oh, I love that. Isn't that pretty? That's very pretty. That'd be really pretty for holiday. And then this one is called Fly to Your Heart. Fly to Your Heart. That's pretty too. Kind of looks like that happy thoughts. And so that is everything in that box. And let me do the last little thing here. Oh yeah, this is I'm excited to share with you all. Sorry. Uh, too excited. I grabbed some Mainstays candles. My friend here, JG, she asked me if I had tried any of the Mainstays Intense. And I haven't but I couldn't find them at my Walmart, but I did end up running across a few I want to try. So what I thought I would do is, um, I got, I have another haul coming with some Aldi candles. I'm not going to do it all in this video. I probably should just put these in that one, but, um, I'm going to do a current burn Walmart mainstays edition and a current burn Aldi candles. Cause by the time I talk about the Aldi candles, you won't be able to get them. But like, we're just going to talk about the performance of the hunting Hunton homes, Aldi candles. So this is apple cider donut. And it just smells really good. I could smell this in the store, which I thought was pretty good. It's very apple cinnamon and like a little bit of like a um, bakery note. And then I got two of these, you guys look, crispy treats. This smells a lot like Fruity Pebbles. They don't do notes, which would be nice, but it's just got like a sugary cereal, Fruity Crunch. So I grabbed two of those in case I really liked it, but I'll put that one in the current burn review. And then the last one, I just walked around the Halloween area looking for decor. And I picked this up. There was like none of these left, but this is called Mystic Fog. And it doesn't really say, it's like blood orange pumpkin scented. 
but it's really good. I like it. It's very orange, but like with a hint of fall. So I don't know. I'm going to, I mean, add that kind of to my Halloween decor. So I thought that was a good one. And those are like three and five dollars. I think this one with the lid was five. The other ones were three. And the last bag I have to share with you, I am so sorry for how long this video is, is I grabbed a few things from Target. I'm just going to share this with you very briefly. I love this Maui Moisture brand for my curly hair. That's all I put in my hair in the morning is a product like this and a product like this. So after shower, I get out and I spray this Frizz Free Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Mist for dry damaged curls. And it smells really good. And then this one is a flexible hold coconut milk curl foam mousse. It comes out as a foam, but it doesn't leave my hair crunchy. It's still drying because I did this in the morning, but I just kind of give it a little bit of zhoosh there and then I can kind of maintain this amount of curl super easily with just these two products. And they didn't have my shampoo and conditioner, but I also came across this, which was from Leah Janae. I was trying to find the body splashes. They didn't have none. I was trying to find a couple other things at the Dove body scrub, but our friend Savings Fashionista, sorry, didn't mean to mess up your name. Um, she said to go on Amazon, so I have done that through her link, and I'm very happy that I will be getting those scrubs. But this is from OGX, and it's the Shea Soft and Smooth Body Wash, and it smells like cupcakes. So I'm excited. It smells just like cupcake batter. So I grabbed that, and then the last, last thing, because I just walk by stuff and pick it up, but... Um, the Wild Fable brand has a lot of cute hair accessories and jewelry and purses at Target but I didn't need, but I've been wanting some scrunchies. Oh, look at that. It's like all, oh, that's fine. I thought it was like coming apart already. It's like, that's so my product. But these were just cute and I like to just have them. And then I thought these breads were kind of cute too and pretty for fall. So that is everything I grabbed. This is my beauty buys and hygiene buys for September. Not everything I bought for the month, but this all kind of came in at the same time. So I thought it would be a good video just to share everything with you. If you watched the end, I appreciate you so much. Um, let me know if there's anything I shared that you would like to hear more about. If not, you'll see some of these candles in current burn reviews. And um, if not, I'll have a more Bath and Butter related video coming very soon, I'm sure. But take care of yourselves and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.